Welcome to the support videos for Workload Automation video series. This video will demonstrate how to create a workload policy to avoid jobs execution on a specific time frame due to a maintenance window on an agent. Let's think we have a maintenance window on a specific agent from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. So during that time frame, we don't want any job to be executed and also we don't want those jobs to run after the maintenance window has finished. We don't know that if the agent is stopped during the time frame, those jobs won't run during that time due to the agent machine is not available. But as soon as the agent is up and running again, those jobs will be executed right away. So if we want to avoid jobs to be executed during that time frame and skip those jobs to be executed at all after the maintenance window has finished, then we can use a workload policy to handle such a scenario. In this case, we have a job that is supposed to run at, at 2.50. Okay, so in order to avoid uh, the job to run during a specific time frame due to the maintenance window, we need to create that workload policy. Okay, in order to do that, we need to go to the planning domain, then we go to the tools option here and select the workload policies. In order to add a new, a new policy, we need to, to press the new button. And the first thing that we are going to type here is the name of that policy. Okay, so uh, then we need to select the, the state for the for our policy. In this case, we need to select active in order to activate that policy. Now, since we need to avoid or skip jobs to run on a specific agent, we need to specify in this in this field that that agent. Okay, so now uh, we need to go to the running job sections. Okay, here we need to select the control and server that that we apply for for the for the policy. Okay. Okay. In this case, this uh, we, we just want that the policy is considered for the control and server that is related to our specific agent. Okay. Now, since we don't want any job to run during that period, so we need to, to set the running jobs uh, field to zero in order to, to, don't, to don't have any job running uh, during that time. Okay. Now, uh, uh, our next step is to put that uh, to specify the, the day and time, okay? In this case, we, we are going to put that is today and it's going to from from 2, 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., okay? Okay, sorry, here is 2 p.m., okay? Okay, as soon as we put uh, have those values, we need to do okay here and we need to apply those, cha those changes so the policy take effect, okay? So now, uh, if, we can, if we go back to our monitoring domain, and, and see what uh, and let's see what what happened with that job that is supposed to run at at 250. Okay, here we can see that the if we go to the waiting info for that job. Okay, we will see that uh, uh, the first message is that the 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 job is supposed to run at two at 250, and the second message that we can see here is that uh, is that the job now belongs to to uh, to, uh, to the work policy that we just created. Okay, so in that in that way we can we can uh, verify that uh, the job won't be so, uh, won't be executed due to that uh, due to that workload policy. Okay, now as you can see here, the the job also changed uh, status uh, to blue. This means that. Uh, the job will, uh, is now uh, part of the of the workload policy that we just created, and, and the job won't be executed. Okay, so in this in this moment, uh, you can or as soon as the as soon as the workload policy has finished uh, the period that is enabled, uh, you can do whatever you want with this job. You can, for example, you can do a a, a, a run now or the set to okay in order to to get a, another uh, status of the job, okay? So in this case, uh, we can we can see that, or we could see that the job won't, uh, didn't execute during that time frame because of the workload policy. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. The workload automation support team looks forward to helping you if any assistance is needed.